Hello everyone, this is Le Wan Song. Following the 3D animation in the last episode, have you finished the assembly of the robotic arm? In, if you finish it, the robotic arm is supposed to be like this. In this episode, I will tell you how to weld the robotic arm. So there are two parts. The first part is insert the old servos into the controller. And the second part is insert the wireless handle receiver into the controller. Before the first part, I want to tell you more about our controller in more detail. Okay, you can see. There is a Bluetooth on it with the 4.0 mod Bluetooth module. You can connect to the mobile phone directly. And let us move to here. You can see there are six servo connection ports. In the middle is a USB connector. With it, you can connect to your computer very quickly. And let us move to here. You can see there are some ports which can connect the wireless handle receiver. And you can see there is a white button. This white button is offline running. The black one is a low voltage alarm. You also can see there are some... This, is, this one is the power supply interface. And this is the switch of the controller. So all of this is every part of the controller. Let us move to the first part to wire the old servers into the controller. Let us have a look. The first server has been assembled in the cloud. And this is number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4, 5, and the last one is under the base. So let us insert all the servers according to this order. Let us take the first line into insert into the controller. You can see there are some figures here. Every side has every side has three figures. So because it's the number one server, we insert it into the first line. Please pay more attention. You can see that the white line is the signal one, and the red line is the positive. The black line is negative. Let us move to the second servo. You can see this line has the figure 2, so you can insert it in it. It's okay. And the, how about the third one? Because this is the number 3 servo, so we can insert it into the line with the figure 3. Okay, the left side is finished. Let us move to the right side. You will find that there is no line in the, this servo, so you can insert this line. We will provide two servos line to you. Then use this line to insert into the this line with the figure four. Okay, the number four server is finished. And this is the number five server. We also should insert this line in it. And then put this line into the line with the figure number 5. Okay, you will find the last servo is here under the base. Insert it in the last line. So we have finished, we have in so we have inserted all the servos into the controller. We can put the, in order to make the robotic arm more fantastic and more beautiful, we should use this one. This is the winding tube to wrap up all the lights together. We can put them together and then use this tube to, to wrap it. It's very easy for you to do that.
Okay, we have wrapped all the lights together like this. It's so cool. You can see. And I want to tell you that please put all the lights in this side in order to put them together very easy. So the first part is finished. Let us move to the second part to connect the wireless handle receiver into the controller. You can see there are three groups here. The red one, black one, and the white one. Before connect it, we should put it through the controller. Like this, you can see. And here, the first line is the color, the color is white. So you can choose the white color, choose the white lines to put it in it. And I want to tell you that you must put the side with the metal ship face to the robotic arm. The second line is the black one. We put the red one into the last line. Okay, you will find that all of the lines are faced the robotic arms with the shed, with the mental sheet. So this connection is finished. You can have a seat like this. So all of this is my introduction of the wiring. I think it's very easy for you to do that. So thank you for your watching.